welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mid-April message for all of the Geminis out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Gemini out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Gemini, let's go ahead and dive right into your mid-April message. So Gemini, we are starting out with building blocks. Solitude, the island, with be a beacon. Okay. Gemini, here is what I'm picking up for you. So building blocks is really about um, information that is sort of being given to you from your higher self or from your guides and your angels where I feel like they're giving you the tools, the answers, the solutions that you need to building a better, more solid foundation here. One of the biggest things with um, building blocks is that it truly represents strong foundations and it's, it's sort of recognizing all of your work in progress. So what I want to say here is that what foundation have you been laying recently, Gemini? Recognize that as things sort of come into your life, those things are coming into your life because you're meant to sort of fit the pieces of the puzzle together to lay a solid foundation for yourself in whatever area you want that to be, whether that's financial, whether that's in your career, whether that's getting a new home or relationships. I do want to point out that the 28 of the building blocks reduces to a 10, which is about new beginnings. And it's important that you understand, Gemini, that sometimes things have to sort of come to an end in order for you to be able to build something more solid, more foundational. The one image that popped up in my mind here was the tower card. Because the tower card truly represents divine intervention, right? A lightning strikes the tower and the tower starts to crumble and everything sort of falls apart. And the reasoning for that is that now that you have nothing, now that the tower is gone, now you have a base from which to begin rebuilding something that is more solid, more foundational, more um, fulfilling for you in many, many ways. Okay. Now, I do feel that as you're building this foundation, as you're putting the blocks together, you're meant to sort of take time to really meditate. To It's more like building a solid foundation of who you are at the core. Because when I see solitude, what I'm really seeing here is that this is like introspection. It's It reminds me of the hermit card here, Gemini where you're needing to really dig deep within yourself to figure out what it is you really want, what it is that you're truly trying to accomplish in this life and what you're really wanting to experience. And in order to do that, in order to know where your base or where your foundation needs to begin, you have to have that introspection, that deep soul searching within. Um, and I want to point out here that you know, you are an inspiration for others. People do see what you do in your life and they, you're, you're leading by example here, Gemini. So you want to be able to have a very solid foundation from which to stand upon because other people are looking to you to provide the answers. They're looking to you to really guide them and to help them, you know, build their own future or build their own foundation in their own life. So let's go ahead and dig into the tarot um, to see where you are here. And look, we just got the Hermit card. What do you know? Okay, so right off the bat, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Lover's card and the Hermit card. Okay, so right off the bat, this tells me here, um, Gemini, that 
I feel that where you're trying to build a more solid foundation is in your finances and in your relationships, how you are building relationships, how you are um, giving in relationships. And I feel that you might feel like there isn't enough, like you, maybe there's an imbalance in your relationships. Maybe you're the one that's constantly giving and giving in your relationships and you feel like you're not really getting anything in return. But what, what spirit's really saying is that if you're looking for other people outside of you to fulfill your needs emotionally or, uh, financially, then you truly are not doing the introspection that you need because everything that you ultimately need emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, it all resides already within you. You're the base. You're basically the solution to that. And I want to point out here, Gemini, that if you continue to push towards filling those needs, outside of you, you're ultimately just going to keep running away from the problem because you're going to be experiencing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So Gemini, I want to point out, oh, oh, that one just ran away from me. So please give me a second here because I had one card that literally flew away. So I have to retrieve it. Okay, so the card that flew away is the Three of Cups, and it came out in reverse. So the Three of Cups is ultimately about celebrating with like-minded individuals, people that truly love you, that genuinely accept you for who you are. It is in reverse here, which tells me that maybe you have some relationships in your life that are not satisfying to you. Maybe they're not really 100% giving to you, um, and... Maybe you feel like you can't celebrate anything with those people because they aren't really giving you what you are ultimately wanting or desiring. And what Spirit is really saying here is that you ultimately, with this Six of Swords, need to walk away from any relationship that is codependent, meaning you rely on that relationship to fulfill you in any way or that is not giving to you. Because what it's saying is that intuitively, you're the only one that is going to fulfill yourself emotionally and financially um, in any capacity. So this is what, um, I, this is, it's very interesting here, Gemini, because I do feel like one of the biggest things when it comes to that introspection is that you're meant to truly identify um, what you are meant to learn. And I think a lot of times we don't really listen to that. We It's sort of like we try really hard to find the answers or the solutions outside of us, but it isn't going to give us ultimately what we need. And I feel that what you're needing here, um, Gemini, is you're, you're needing that deep introspection, that soul searching that is going to provide you with a great sense of soulfulness here with the lover's card and a great sense of stability um, financially that you'll be able to sort of because I, I feel like foundationally you have this belief that it's like foundationally you have this belief that that's the only way that you can get what it is that you need. But with solitude and the hermit, I mean, I, I said it earlier, the hermit is really about self-reflection. It's about self-exploration and it's about healing. It's about recognizing, you know, what areas do we feel that we are lacking in our life and how can we fulfill that lack? How can we fill that void? Because ultimately it's up to us to seek out our own happiness and our own sense of stability and self-esteem. It, it doesn't fall on anybody else. One of the biggest message that the hermit often gives us is living quietly for a time, right? So this means solitude. It means that you need to sort of pull away from 
outside sources trying to fulfill you and really figure out what is it that you need. Because I can guarantee you here, Gemini, that what you are, tr the void that you are trying to fill is only going to damage you further. It is only going to make you continue to run away from the things that you feel are not giving you what you need. And that's because they're not, they're not there to fill that void. You're meant to understand why you feel that void. Where, where is that void stemming from and how do you fill that void? Okay, so let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper because I want to get more insight here, Gemini, as to this. Because wh what I'm clearly hearing and what I'm clearly seeing is that maybe you have already taken action steps towards ending something in your life. And now you're not understanding that those action steps that you've created are, ultimate, are ultimately breaking apart a foundation um, that has been with you for some time. And when I say foundation, I don't necessarily mean physical foundation, like a home. Okay. Cause I need you to understand Gemini that what, what spirit's telling me and what I'm seeing in my mind is a foundation of who you are. I feel that in your mind, you have built this illusion of who you believe yourself to be. But now that you have actually ended something, now that you are, now that things have sort of been set into motion and now you're taking these, these steps towards whatever decision you have made here, Gemini, your foundation is now crumbling. It is now falling apart. And the more that it continues to fall apart, the more void you are going to feel. Okay. Um, because it's only going to whatever actions you take at, from this point on here, Gemini ultimately are only going to reflect the imbalance in everything, right? So it's like everything is going to be reflected back to you as to this, this void that you have been avoiding for some time and you've been trying to fill with outside things. And that imbalance ultimately is going to lead you towards a deep introspection, some solitude time that you ultimately are going to have to really bring upon. It's going to make you feel very hollow and very shallow. Um, but again, this is where you have to recognize it's your responsibility because I feel like you're putting the responsibility on other people to fill this void for you. And you're the only one that can carry that burden. You're the only one that can fill that void. Um, it's not anyone else's responsibility. And, and you're meant to carry this because it's meant to help you focus on what is more important in your life. And I feel like if you put all of the importance on relationships and on money and on trying to find the right partner or trying to, you know, have the right friends, then you're really not tuning in to what you truly ultimately need, right? And I want to point out again, people are watching you, Gemini. People are watching the actions that you are taking and they are learning from you. So what are you teaching others um, by your actions? That's important. The seven of emotions is really about making a conscious choice. Are you consciously choosing a specific action because you feel it's the easiest solution and it's the quickest to get you to, to filling this void? Or are you really intuitively thinking about it and making a conscious choice because you know that it's the right thing to, for you to do to help you grow and expand uh, more into your awareness here. Um, so now we have the strength card in reverse. Okay. I sort of feel like whatever actions you have already taken here, Gemini, have really um, made you question because I feel like there's no turning back. There's all, it's almost like you can't, uh, take back what you've already done here. And again, you have the queen of cups here for a second time. 
Um, because, you know, the strength card really truly speaks about courage and it speaks about bravery. It speaks about our willingness to be patient. And I feel like you ultimately were not patient in making a choice. You just made a choice, but you made a choice to help take away the void of what you've been feeling. And you're hoping that that choice will sort of balance out whatever is sort of crumbling or ending in your life. Um, and unfortunately, it isn't going to turn out the way that you're expecting it to turn out. Um, unfortunately, it's not. Uh, because the Queen of Cups is an intuitive woman. She's so in tune with her own emotions. She understands that she has to be soulful, that she has to be loving and nurturing to oneself. And it's about loving and giving. So my question to you is, Gemini, is the action that you have taken at this point, is it loving and nurturing to oneself? Ha is, it, is it something that is truly fulfilling you or is it just an illusion, right? Because that which you give, you receive. So what energy are you giving to others and to yourself. So I think this is a really good time for you to reflect, which really speaks about the um, hermit card. I mean, the hermit card, I, I said the hermit card when we talked a little bit about the solitude. Um, and I really feel that you're at this point right now that you're going to be experiencing whatever actions you've taken up until this point. Um, it's only going to... It's not going to look the way that you thought it was going to look and it isn't going to to fill to to give you what you thought it was. Um because it's the only way I can say it Gemini is the energy that you give is the energy that you receive. So I really feel that what spirit really wants you to know here Gemini is that you ultimately you need to take time to yourself. Don't rely on anyone else to fill to, to fill a void that you are currently having. If you're unhappy, if you're dissatisfied with where things are in your life, um, making a choice to run away from that, because I see that here, making a choice to run away from it isn't going to fix it. If anything, it's going to leave everything broken. And it's going to create damage in relationships that um, ultimately could isolate you. Like I normally don't read the Six of Swords that way, but this is like you walking away from everything. You are literally walking away from everything. And I feel that in your mind, you think that this is something that you have to absolutely do. And in some cases it might be, but what you're not recognizing here, Gemini, is that you are ending something that isn't meant to be ended just yet because it's so out of balance. There isn't, I really feel that whatever this energy is, isn't coming from a place of a conscious choice. Um, I feel that right now you just feel like you have all of these burdens and all of these responsibilities and all you're trying to do is get it off of you. But you, what you're not recognizing is that these burdens and these responsibilities is an inside job. That, that's just all there is to it. So Gemini, this is your message. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys.